you know that Lego wasn't always the plastic pain bricks we know and love today? Before Lego borrowed the idea of the interlocking bricks, more on that later, they were crafting wooden toys like this rooster, tractor, and truck. But it wasn't always rainbows and sunshine for Lego. They faced setback after setback until one day, the founder of Lego discovered a money printing machine. Well, a plastic injecting molding machine, but it may as well have printed money. And after decades of success, following the release of their plastic toys, including iconic Lego brick, we innocently tread on in the middle of the night. Seriously, how did it even get there? Sorry. And after their third factory fire wiped out their wooden toys, Lego doubled down on plastic, ending the long running wooden toy division. And if it wasn't for that borrowed toy idea we mentioned earlier, you can find out about that here. We probably wouldn't even be talking about them today. Did you know that Lego stole the idea for the interlocking brick? Well, not really stole, but hear me out. Lego, the behemoth of interlocking bricks, wasn't the pioneer in this revolutionary concept. The crown of innovation initially rested on the head of Kitty Craft's founder, Hilary Fisher Page, in the late 1930s, who went on to patent the Kitty Craft self-locking building bricks. But despite being the trailblazer, fumbled the bag. So Lego's founder, Ole Kirk Christensen, seized the opportunity to really take this interlocking brick idea to the next level. So in 1958, Lego revealed its version automatic binding brick. Aren't you glad that name didn't stick? And later perfecting them into the iconic pieces we know today. Do you know what the first ever Lego minifigure was? And no, I don't mean these little fellas. I'm talking about the typical minifigure we know today. It was this police officer minifigure. Introduced in 1978, police officer was part of the Lego town set, which also included a police car, station, and rescue helicopter. In 2018, Lego brought back this police officer in its minifigure series to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the minifigure. These were pretty rare though, but not nearly as rare as the minifigures in this next video. The rarest C-3PO minifigure and most expensive Lego minifigure of all time, the 14 karat gold C-3PO. This was created for the 30th anniversary of Star Wars. It was raffled off with a limited run of just five pieces. It's extremely limited production makes it one of the most exclusive and valuable Lego minifigures. These are worth upwards of $300,000 each. Did you know that Lego comes from the Danish words lie and got? This just simply means play well. But wait, bonus fact. In Latin, this translates to I assemble, but that's just a happy coincidence. Did you know that Lego's first ever poly bag was released in 1983 as part of a McDonald's free promotion? It actually wasn't just one poly bag, it was four. Each model could be reconfigured into various different shapes. But we'll go with what their names were. 1912 car, 1913 boat, 1914 helicopter, and 1915 aircraft. They even came with additional instructions on how to combine these models to create something bigger, including this stuff. How do you think this stacks against the modern poly bags? Do you wish for a more blocky future or are you happy with the sleek designs that they're producing now? I guarantee you won't know these five facts about Lego. Lego are the largest producers of tires in the world. You heard that right. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, Lego hit its peak in tire production back in 2010, cranking out a whopping 381 million tiny tires. Since then, they've been holding strong as the top dog in the annual toy tire manufacturing game, still churning out around 306 million rubbery rounds every year. Six 2x4 Lego bricks can be combined in more than 915 million ways. Let's give it a try. Let's move on. The plural of Lego is Lego. If you're saying Legos, please stop. It's as silly as saying sheeps. I uh, got a bit carried away. The Lego bricks sold in one year can wrap around the earth seven and a half times. Lego have produced over 4 billion minifigures. Their population would be the combined totals of India, China, and the entire continent of Africa. Let me know in the comment section which of these you knew. If you knew all of these, I won't call you a liar, but I'm watching you. These are the five largest Lego sets ever made. Millennium Falcon, my favorite by far. At 7,541 pieces, this is an epic hit. Colosseum. The Colosseum clocks in at 9,036 pieces. This big round boy would certainly dominate any room it was put in. Lego Titanic. This ship comes in at 9,090 pieces. With a length of 54 inches, you are going to struggle to find a place in your home for this one. The Eiffel Tower. This isn't the first Eiffel Tower they've ever made, but it's certainly the biggest. At 10,001 pieces, this is easily the tallest Lego set out there. Coming in at an astonishing 11,695 pieces, and the dimensions on screen, this would make for an excellent display piece on your wall. If you like this video, please hit the like button and follow for part two.